Sciatica is one of the most prevalent mechanical issues affecting the adult. It typically occurs when a herniated or bulging disc compresses the nerve roots in the lumbar spine. Another common cause is spondylolisthesis, a condition where one vertebra slips forward, leading to nerve root compression. This compression can result in pain or numbness that radiates along the sciatic nerve's pathway, extending from the back to the butt, knee, leg, ankle, and toe. Orthopedic surgeon or neurosurgeon generally prefers surgical treatment like the following below. 1. Microdiscectomy. This procedure involves creating a small opening in the back to remove the herniated disc. Accessing the nerve root often requires removing a small section of the lamina and yellow ligament. Excessive disc removal or inadequate disc removal are the most common issues that can lead to the recurrence of sciatica. Additionally, excessive removal of lamina and yellow ligament can cause spinal instability. 2. Lumbar fusion. This surgery connects two spinal bones using screws and rods. Pedicle screw misplacement can easily occur during this surgery. Misplaced screws can cause surrounding nerves and blood vessels damage. Additionally, over the long term, Lumbar fusion may lead to adjacent segment disease where spinal segments near the fused area degenerate more quickly due to increased stress. This can potentially impact daily activities, such as bending. 3. Artificial disc replacement. This procedure involves replacing the damaged disc. An artificial disc can never integrate with the bone, which will eventually lead to loosening and damage to surrounding nerves. Although it aims to restore function, it cannot fully replicate the movement of the original disc and may affect the patient's daily activities. It is important to recognize that surgery is irreversible and can lead to complications, including limited lumbar movement or instability and potential symptom recurrence. Research indicates that fewer than 50% of patients are satisfied with the long-term outcomes of lumbar surgery. In contrast, more than 90% of benign sciatica cases can improve with conservative treatments. Nowadays, one effective option is the portable back traction device B18C, which offers the convenience of traction anytime, anywhere. This device creates dynamic traction by applying a detraction force on the rib and pivot, effectively pulling the spinal bones, particularly in the lumbar spine. This process can significantly enlarge the foramen and reduce vertebral malalignment, thereby alleviating nerve compression. In conclusion, this portable traction device is the best method to decompress the herniated disc for recovery. Interested parties please contact us for more information.